Hello friends, welcome to my reading channel. Today we're going to read Fairy Daisy and the Secret Promise. So let's start our story. A secret kingdom of fairy folk live among the roses at the bottom of Jessica Scott's backyard. Although Jessica plays there every day, she hasn't once seen the fairies. She has never glimpsed Daisy drop dew drop a tiny fairy girl who is six just like her. Daisy and her friends love to peek at Jessica, but if she gets too close, they quickly flutter away. Every young fairy knows that fairies must stay hidden from humans. One day, Daisy drop dew drop was helping to Fairy set her three baby brothers, Fidget, Reckless, and Fast Toads. Watch this, cried Daisy, gently tapping Freckless on the head with her wand. Fidget and Fast Toes, Fast Toes giggled as Freckless turned green, then blue, then red. My turn, my turn, the Olflets laughed, tumbling in and out of the blades of grass. All right, said Daisy, tiptoeing after them, but please sit still first. Fidget, Freckless, and Fast Toes did not want to sit still. Daisy tried all kinds of spells to keep her brothers amused, but nothing worked. Suddenly, the fairy triplets cringed. Let's play hide and seek. Oh no, you don't, glared Daisy, stamping her foot. She raised her wand to cast a fairy breathing spell, but somehow the magic missed. The fairy dust was scattered far across the lawn, where Jessica lay coloring on a rug. The little girl found herself being showered in a gold in gold sparks. Daisy Dewdrop gasped to see the girl freeze, but her magic was only strong enough to la last an instant. Jessica shook her head and blinked, then scrambled over to find out what had happened. Quick hide, whispered Daisy, chasing her brothers back to the roses. Fairies all over the yard fluttered back to their ho houses. Daisy gulped. She has broke she had broken the biggest rule in Fairyland. Jessica was now sure they were fairies in her yard, and she was determined to find them. She searched for them every day. I know they're real, she told her mom at bedtime. Before going to sleep, Jessica would gaze out of her bedroom window, longing for one more glimpse. Down at the bottom of the garden, Daisy watched Jessica's light go out. This was the only time that it was safe for the flurry fairies to flutter onto the lawn. Daisy dropped. Dewdrop was sent to the Fairy Queen. Your bad temper has put the whole kingdom in danger, said the queen, frowning. Now you have to hide our we have to hide ourselves away until after sunset. I will take your wand away until you can be trusted with it. The young fairy sadly placed her wand, her star toe stopped wand in the queen's lap. Being a fairy who can't cast a spell, can cast spells, was no fun at all. While her friends used their wands to make rainbows and get their tiaras glittering, Daisy Dewdrop hid herself away among the rosebuds. Suddenly, the rose Daisy was perched on began to wobble. See, she saw 
Jessica above her, staring into the flowers. I wish the fairies would let me see them, sobbed Jessica. Daisy pulled the rose petals around her until the little girl walked away. She knew that she knew what it was like to feel left out. The next evening, all the young fairies polished their wands and gathered under the moonlight. There was going to be royal magic. Her toads her her toadstool window longing to take part. At that moment a line of fireflies appeared lighting up the garden. The fairy queen stepped out of the darkness. The jewels in her crown shimmering like stars. She looked beautiful. Good evening fairies, elves and spirits, said the fairy queen. Her tiny subjects curtsied and waved their wands in a circle around their queen. All of a sudden, a booming voice echoed around the circle. I have found you, said the voice. A giant pair of hands came out of the skies and lifted up the fairy queen. Daisy Dewdrop gasped. The air sparkled as frightened fairies fluttered into the shadows. Jessica was standing in the middle of the lawn, gently cradling the fairy queen in her hands. I know I'd find you, even if I had to sneak out in my pajamas, said Jessica. Please let her go, called Daisy, but Jessica couldn't hear her. Do humans? Fairy voices are fairy voices sound like bells tinkling in a breeze. Daisy saw her big chance. She jumped out of her toadstool toadstool house, then hovered up to Jessica's face. Without her wand, all she could do was point to the poor fairy queen. Somehow Jessica seemed to understand. Oh, I won't hurt her, she whispered. I just wanted to make sure you were real. Daisy unclipped a delicate chin chain from around her neck. Jessica looked in wonder at the tiny fairy. For me? Thank you. Then something amazing happened. The necklace glittered and grew until it was just the right size for a girl to wear. Somehow, Daisy's kind heart had made one last drop of fairy magic. Jessica realized the fairy queen at once, released the fairy queen at once. I won't tell anyone about you, I promise, she said. Daisy watched as Jessica ran home, clutching her fairy necklace and smiling at the thought of her secret promise. As a reward for her bravery, the fairy queen presented Daisy Dewdrop with a very special gift, a brand new sparkling star topped wand. The end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.